Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and today we're taking a look at how to make the a pixel kind of artwork in Grasshopper. So kind of like having an image like this, like from Casper Dout Friedrich, and transform it into a pixelized version like that, and also some height and different things. So let's get to it, and I'll show you how it's done. Great. So. We basically need to do the following. I just want to draw it out so we can just go along and know how it works. So we're getting the image, right? And we need to download it from the internet, obviously. And then we're getting uh, separate points on this image, like those. And those points, it gives us a value, um, like a color value, basically. And then we're not, we're doing this, like we're getting the color value, but we also will create a rectangle uh, around this, like those, like a small rectangles, like those. And those rectangles then will be uh, extruded upwards into the Z direction. And we have like a thicker rectangle on top like that. And they actually might be different heights as well, depending on how um, like thick the thing is or like how bright the color is. Okay, great. So we have start where we will, you will start with the image, with an image sampler like this. I usually will, yeah, like this. And you, you don't need any plugins for that. It's just normal grasshopper stuff. So you don't need to have any plugins. So double click this, and then you go to file path, and then you go to, for example, um, like the one from Casper David Friedrich, uh, the man above clouds, I think in English, like this, okay. And now we have it in here. And you see, it gives us like the values between zero to one and zero to one in the X and the Y, in the y domain. And we want to um, basically now get the colors that I was talking before out of that. So by that, we are going to create, um, we're going to construct points. And we want to construct like points that basically respond to that there, right? So we're having um, the X and the Y coordinates. So we're going to create a range. And this range um, then has a certain amount of steps. And we want to have it not only for this steps, but also for the other one, like the X and the Y direction. Do like this and that. And then we need to actually graph the uh, X direction. So now we have um, a very nice even grid. And this grid then will be put into this one. And when we take a panel, we see we get like always three values for each of those things. And what does those values mean? They're actually RGB values. So if you create a color, you always have a, a red, green, and um, blue RGB, red, green, blue, yeah. Um, value where you can create any kind of color. So um, we will do that. And we actually, so we already have the colors here of each of those uh, of the grid here. And then if you go under mesh, under primitive, and then under uh, mesh color, uh, we actually can create a meshed kind of uh, corresponds to that as well. So let me just uh, create a rectangle first, like that. And this rectangle is actually because we have the domain between um, 0 and 1, like this domain here, right, of our basic numbers here. Um, we're going to create a rectangle that has that is a division of those things. So we're going to use division, divide. And divide the 11 um, by 1, or no, the other way around, right? Yeah, 1 by 11. 1 by 11 for the y direction. And we're gonna divide 1 in 11 by the x direction, like that. And you see it gives us one plane here now, but we will need to put it in here. And as you see, it creates a lot of very nice rectangles for us. And uh, not, now that we have those, we can use those rectangles and put them in the height. And you see we have those very nice heighted rectangles. And we can use the box or like uh, under mesh primitive uh, mesh blah, mesh box. We can use the box here and we're gonna um, make them like rather simple. So just with two X, Y, Z counts, um, like a simple uh, mesh box. And this then gets the colors of here and we take the mesh of there. And um, this already does kind of a thing that we want. However, we want to still, um, let me just lock the silver pretty quick and see if it works correctly like that. 
Um, so we have our meshes here and then the colors here as well. And now we need to put them together as well. But I, I think we need to actually create a shader and the shader then, oh no, not really. Um, I had this problem before as well, and I'm kind of getting confused to it again, but um, I guess that's fine for now. Let me just uh, think of this before we can also you can maybe like graft it and then we do color. I think we need to actually put it into color. Where is it? Um, geometry primitive color. And then we need to put it through the color and then I think it gets transformed into a color. But we also need to flatten it and then graft it again. So it uses each of the single pieces. And we do the same here, like flatten. And then we graft this. Yes, perfect. <coughs> nice. Now we have our um, very nice grid defined. And we can obviously make them a little bit more like detailed here. Like rather quickly which is very nice because we can just go like back and forth and increase or decrease the resolution as we see fit obviously the more um the more resolution we get the more um uh, computing power it takes to create those great let's be what is it this oh, okay we just actually might need to just use one count here as well which makes it also a little bit more a little bit quicker to define and we can also increase the number here which kind of like divides them and makes like different things out of them but uh, we're just gonna stick for uh, one in this case so great this is already defined but what i want to do now as well is at the moment it's all flat but i want to have them in different heights as well so we're going to just um we're getting those color values here right and we're just gonna separate or under, uh, if you go under text, uh, which is under set, text, and then here text split, we can just split the text by a comma, because you see it goes like, it's like comma, comma, comma. So um, we're going to use text here, use separator, and then we're getting three values of those colors as well, which is really useful. <laughs> and um, you can just, do a mass addition and just add them together like that. And then we get like very high values of um, those numbers here. And I wanna just multiply them in a rather like low number and put them into our height over here. And this then, if it wouldn't crash, which might happen sometimes because um, you have like a lot of computing power and suddenly you don't have one thing grafted or not and then you are getting into like kind of like a mess of uh, a rhino so, or in grasshopper which kind of calculates just the thing that, that he wants it to do but then it can still uh, crash all over the place as you see here so we just do Control z pretty quickly and then uh, we have not this gigantic trouble anymore so let me just take a look uh, we have those things here and I think we it would be the best. So we have, um, let me just reduce those numbers first, just in case. So we have rather, rather simple mesh, or rather simple uh, rectangles here, which is nice. And we're just gonna use those one here, could be possible. I actually might need to trim this tree once. Yeah, I think this works better. Yes, nice. This is exactly what I wanted. Great, let's just put this in here. And delete this one here. And I think we already have the world multiplier. Let's call it this. And that's basically our script, right? And we're just, just going to increase this a little bit. Like that, you see. And we can obviously always decrease the amount of it and I would just for example if I want to take another image for example um, the Starry Nights one I would just click OK and then we have the image directly here or we're just gonna take the Mona Lisa for example 
like uh, where do we have it here then just gonna go back and forth like that which is pretty cool and pretty amazing in my opinion so um yeah i think it's already all so thank you very much for watching um thanks everyone who uh, participated also in the stream and see you in the next one bye bye Okay, great. Um, that was the...